WKRG News 5 is your local election headquarters. Next month, Alabama voters will decide whether Tommy Tuberville or Jeff Sessions will challenge Senator Doug Jones in the fall. It's possible President Trump may come to Mobile to rally on behalf of Tuberville, but nothing official yet from the Trump re-election campaign. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams spoke with the former coach today in Orange Beach, and Debbie, apparently we're not the only ones without details of a possible presidential visit. Tuberville says he hasn't been contacted at all about a rally in Mobile with the president, but he wouldn't turn it down, especially with that runoff race with Sessions just weeks away. Word of a presidential visit at Lad People Stadium in Mobile in support of Tommy Tuberville's Senate campaign leaked Monday. That was news to me yesterday. Now I hope we're on that list, but you know, I, uh, I would hope they'd call and tell me if they're going to do that. The former coach in Orange Beach to meet with community leaders says he speaks with the president every week or two, and nothing has been mentioned. I'd, I'd love for him to come. I don't know whether it, it helped me uh, win this. I think I think we got a great shot anyway. If it does happen, it would have to take place in the next four weeks. July 14th, Tuberville goes head to head with Jeff Sessions to see who will face Doug Jones in November. I know he's made his position clear, um, but the people of Alabama have the responsibility and duty to determine who they have confidence in. Sessions believes Tuberville's lack of experience could hurt the state. It would be tragic if we send a potted plant or an empty suit uh, to Washington who can't speak out at this time of turmoil and crisis. Tuberville says he's not a politician, and that's okay. I'm not a swamp guy. I'm not doing this for money. You know, I'm not taking a salary. The salary I make is going to the veterans of this state, and I want to help. Now, after the primary, Tuberville had a double-digit lead over Sessions in the polls, but the most recent polls showed that lead is shrinking. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.